I'm Kate Cohen Posey, and I am back with a handy brain model. It's your brain. This is the right hemisphere. I'm back to show you how to manage other people's emotions, and Nitza is here with me, and he may be asking me some questions. Did you know, Nitza, that in your brain, you actually have a center that produces a relationship chemical? It's right here below your thalamus. Thalamus means inner chamber. The hypothalamus produces something called oxytocin. Is that like the same as oxycodone? No, not quite. Oxy, the prefix oxy means quick. So with oxycodone, it means a quick release of codone, which is similar to death when you're in the influence of an opiate. And oxytocin means quick birth, which is related to life. Oxytocin is the chemical that bonds mother to child, but it also bonds, right now, it's bonding you and me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you really want it to bond you with your spouse, your friends, and you can do that by smiling. Okay. You can do that just by touching people. And you can do that, of course, with intimate contact really releases a lot of oxytocin between lovers. So is so it's the love hormone? Well, if you think of love as a secure attachment that makes you feel confident, safe, and secure, then it would you would call it the love hormone. But here's the thing. When you feel attachment, you feel pleasure. And anytime you feel pleasure, you're also going to get dopamine, which is down here. You'll get a spurt of that, and that's the pleasure hormone. And you'll also get endorphins that also come from the hypothalamus and pituitary. Now, endorphins are the satisfaction chemical. So this combination of feeling safe and connected, feeling pleasure, and feeling satisfaction truly makes a chemical co cocktail that is the love hormone. It causes infatuation, which is a little different than intoxication, but not too different. Okay. I've always wondered why the infatuation doesn't last in the relationship. Yeah, that's an excellent question. Why can't we stay infatuated? In yeah. fact, you know, so many people think, oh, I'm not in love with my spouse anymore because they're not in that infatuated, intoxicated state where they're under the influence of that chemical cocktail. So what happens is as people grow out of the infatuation state, they start to assert their own needs and then they start to have conflicts. And the way your brain understands that conflict is it feels a momentary disconnect and guess what happens? Opiates suddenly plummet. They just drop, and your brain goes into primal panic. When your brain goes into primal panic, it's going to fight for what it wants. Okay, so I'm going to play with my son. Uh-huh. Okay. Dad, I really want this game. You told me I could have it, and I don't understand why I can't get it. I had good grades. Well, you look like you're very angry and really frustrated right now. I am, and I want this game. You told me I could have it. I bet you are so disappointed in me. I bet you think I am the lousiest dad in the world. You probably want to call your grandmother up and go live with her right now. <laughs> I feel like calling my grandmother. <laughs> okay, so, so Nitsa, what happened as I responded to you like uh, that? Well, you know, you were addressing the, be, uh, the behavior of how I felt, uh -huh. and then... But just notice, the, don't, how did you feel as your son? I was confused. You got confused. <laughs> I felt a little confused, yes. Sure. And I kind of beat you to the punch. Yes. Because I, I know your son's move. I'm going to go to grandma's. That's my daughter. That was her move, too. Yes. Yeah, so you kind of beat people to the punch. Now, did I say anything to you that didn't match what you were feeling or what your son was feeling. No, no, he didn't say anything. And so it's totally in sync. Mm -hmm. So here's what just happened in our brains. 
Your son is all up in his right brain. His amygdala is firing up. In, his, in your right brain and this amygdala, here's the only way your right and left brain is different. Your right brain does not have verbal centers. Your left brain does. So your son's in his right brain. You get in your left brain and you wrap words around his emotions. In fact, I exaggerated. I said, you're really angry. You probably think I am the lousiest dad in the world. What happened inside you when I did that? Um, I didn't expect for you to say that. Yeah, so you were a little taken aback. Yeah, that's where the confusion came in. And yeah. it was like, okay, I had to think for a minute here. Yeah, so when you name what people are feeling, when you even exaggerate it, what psychiatrist Daniel Siegel calls that is name it to tame it. So that's an, that needs to be your absolute first responder in helping people deal with their emotions. Okay. What do I do if I'm too angry myself to name it and tame it? So, perfect question. You put yourself in timeout. Okay. In fact, I've had parents who will tell their children, I need to time myself out. Or you can say that with your spouse either. Maybe your spouse is going off on you. You need to know, remember, if you leave, she's going to go into primal panic because she's going to feel like, oh, he's abandoning me. So you say, just give me five minutes and then I'll be all yours again. So what do you do in those five minutes? So I'm going to take the advice and tell my spouse, give me five minutes or I'm going to take five minutes and I'll be right back. Versus mm -hmm. I'm going to take off because, you know, which is the usual for me is like, I've got to leave right now. Uh -huh. So I don't react in uh -huh. a negative way. So for me, I guess it's going to be addressing it that way. I need to take five minutes for myself. Right. And I'll if you right say back. just five minutes, she's mm -hmm. not going to get all freaked out. Yeah. So when you get by yourself and a great place to go is, is the bathroom and mm -hmm. close, lock the door if you need to. I like to go to the car and shut the door. Or the yes. car is yes. another very good place to go. And then, so you want to get that cingulate on board. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what question do you need to ask the cingulate? Now, you're not focusing on yourself. You're not saying to yourself, um, how bad is that mistake? You want to ask yourself a different question. Do you have an idea what that might be? Um, you don't. Is it like I'm questioning, you know, it's like how serious this is? No, no, you, you, you really learned the lesson from gotcha. the first one. You want to ask, why is this person so upset? Mm -hmm. You want to operate on the assumption there's always a reason. People say, oh, that emotion isn't reasonable. Well, emotions by definition are not reasonable or illogical, but there is always a reason. So you want to say, why are they upset? And when you figure that out, then you can go back and start wrapping words around their emotions. Gotcha. Well, I know sometimes in relationships you can't figure, I mean, as far as me, you know, as a guy, I can't always find out, you know, just by knowing what, you know, unless I ask, what's wrong? You know, what, why are you upset? So, I mean, I guess I can try to figure it out, but if you can't figure it out, I guess you have to ask? Well, that's good if you get yourself calm enough mm -hmm. and curious enough. Now, curiosity is driven by the neurotransmitter dopamine. It's the seeking hormone. So if you're really curious, and you could go back and you could say, Sweetie, I just really want to understand. I know you're angry at me, but I don't completely understand why. You lower your voice. You're smiling. You might even reach a little bit. I really want to understand this. You don't want to say, oh, I understand why you're upset. You want to feed back why they're upset. But if you're really too upset to even do that, you need to do some more self-care mm -hmm. kinds of things. So let's say you're, you're pretty angry, yet you're, you're, you're angry yourself, and you're saying, I can't believe she doesn't trust me. My God, I've never given her a reason not to trust me. And you're feeling really angry. So you want to pay attention to where you're feeling those sensations. So let's do a little experiment right now. Let's see if we can get you upset. Okay. <laughs> 
I think you told me something happened this weekend that was really upsetting. You don't have to tell me what it was. Okay. Just think about it for a minute and notice what you're feeling in your body. Uh, it feels like blood rushing in, like into my arms and into my legs, like from my Perfect. chest. See how observant you are. Now remember, you just used your insula to observe those body sensations. And believe it or not, just by observing them, and it helps to stare at a spot, and you keep noticing them and noticing them, they begin to change. If you're paying attention, you're doing it right now, that's good. Keep staring at a spot. You picked a lovely spot. And what do you notice happens to the sensations as you're paying attention? Like they're coming back away from my arms and my legs. Yes. Like re regressing almost. Regressing, perfect. They're coming back to normal. They're coming back to homeostasis. That's what this insula does. Now, most people walk around like they don't even know that they have a body. Mm -hmm. So when I tell people, where do you feel that in their, your body? They say, what? <laughs> so you want to just pay attention to your body, and that will bring you down very quickly. Okay, so Netza, you were telling me what you noticed when you paid attention to all the, that tension in your arms and legs. Yes. Uh, initially, when I started thinking of about the incident from this weekend, uh, of course, that w made me angry, and then initially, like when I thought about it all over again, I was like going back in time, and my arms and my legs felt like they were just getting blood flow, like something heavy was going to them, mm -hmm. and I almost kind of thought for a minute, I was like, I wonder if that's my brain losing its blood. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent, okay. And then when I focused in on that one object that you said focus in on, immediately... Um, I had this overwhelming sense of like, you know, almost like where my uh, hair stood on my arms mm -hmm. and like the blood was coming back. You know, like I was losing, the not, not feeling on my arm, but like the tension was being lost and then coming back. So noticing your body sensations brought them back to normal. Mm -hmm. Because although you may be a little affected by the incident this weekend, you really don't need to be feeling that. So it brought it back to normal. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I noticed your breathing slowed down. Yes. I, rem I remember my heart felt like it was race it was starting mm -hmm. to race, of course, being angry, once all over again. Uh -huh. And I didn't notice it, but I, I, yeah. I, I, I was I watching about it, for that, because that's well, the third thing you do to calm yourself down, is you breathe it to leave it. Breathe it to so, leave it. So, yeah. So you can actually... If you're not coming down fast enough, just paying attention to body sensations. Also focus on your breath and remember what area of the brain that's going to hit is that rest and connect nerve in the brain stem, the vagus nerve, that very powerful nerve that releases acetylcholine. Now, maybe oxytocin is the love hormone. But acetylcholine is the wisdom hormone. So you start your longer breaths, you start releasing the acetylcholine, and you can begin to put the pieces of the puzzle together and understand what you need to know to navigate the turbulent waters of relationships. You can go to meet the other person full of curiosity, interest, and wisdom to begin to really understand them and to show them that you understand. It's the showing other people that you understand that helps them manage their emotions. So remember, if you are a psychiatrist, a counselor, an educator, or a parent that wants to help people manage their emotions, just go to www.handybrainmodel.com and you can order the Handy Brain Model and pretty soon it should be on Amazon and you can order it from that as well.